Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Asteroid Defense Series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23.5. When we last left our Jewel mission, we had it in this trajectory to meet Val and then Lathe. And so we're going to find out how that works out. Right now, we wouldn't be able to uh, complete this orbit because we'd smack right into Jewel, it looks like. I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, we've got this trajectory, so we can do some science. I I forget whether we've done uh, near Jewel sort of science, so let me just uh, pop Jeb out here, get an EVA report. Yeah, we have. Okay. So we've taken care of all, all we have taken care of all the near Jewel stuff, and we can proceed to Val. I I do remember I've I've left two people two Kerbals. Uh, on asteroids, I, I I have that in mind, but I'm very eager to see how these missions turn out, so I'm not turning to them just yet. I trust they'll be happy on their little asteroids. And so, we'll just leave that be for now. Ah, looks like uh, we have, we go past the orbit and so, oh dear. Uh, don't you hate when that happens? Is this one of those cases where I should just let it continue and actually we'll meet up with it anyway? And it's just trying to fool with me or... The problem is late encounters always seem to take precedent. Precedence. Precedence. So... It doesn't like me right now because it's just calculating the lathe encounter and not calculating the val encounter. Well, it uh, looks like we would be able to come around. So let's see what happens, I think is the plan. Looks like the encounter is being set up here as we slow down past the orbit of Val, but not really getting any sort of indication of it. Whoa. Now it looks like we got passed underneath it without actually encountering it. That sucks. Oh, wait. Aha! Okay, we have an encounter. Very brief one. Just 20 minutes. Pretty far away. But it will be good enough to do science. Can we see it? Yeah, there it is. There's Val. So, definitely within sight range. Let's have Jeb do that. Had him go out and not get any science last time. EVA report. Uh, sure, uh, keep that and then transmit it once you're aboard. And uh, we'll also have the crew report. So how's our electric situation? Fine. So transmit that. Good. And let's review that stored data. And high above Val. Transmit that. Excellent. Now, goo, we can observe. Uh, yeah, uh, well, let's process it. That's why we brought the lab here anyway. Okay, and then we'll transmit this much. And then we'll have this clean experiments. Okay, I think barometer is useless, yeah, oh we've got another antenna there, don't think we needed it, but always good to have an extra, and uh, once this portion decouples we'll probably need it. Um, 
trying to find... I don't think a thermometer scan would work here anyway. That usually only works low. Just wonder where I ended up putting them. Always have to figure out where my instruments are. Very difficult. Oh, there it is. Well, let's try it. Nah, yeah, I can't do. Okay. Now, now we are going to proceed to lathe. Obviously, it'd take a lot more fuel to try and get into a close encounter with Val, and we might end up missing lathe. I think Leif is the more interesting one because it's got the atmosphere. We'll try and get a closer encounter with Leif. Now let's see if we can't uh, burn here to adjust that one. After all, the further out you are, the, the more benefit there is to any burn. So, going to do that now. Okay, I think... Uh, 357 might be close enough? I don't know. How close to Leif do we have to... Well, that's definitely close. Uh, let's back off from that, otherwise we'll get caught in Leif's atmosphere. Of course, if I was going to be really daring, I could dip into Leif's atmosphere and escape and do the barometer and thermometer readings, but I'm not that daring, and we also have other probes to take care of that sort of thing, so... Let's not do that. Uh, 91 should definitely be above. 101 should be fine. Okay, so. Just a 128 meter per second burn should be fine. Certainly worthwhile to get both readings around Lathe. Are we basically going straight towards it? How close are we right now? Oh, that's close enough. Definitely. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what our approach to Lathe is like. Yeah, basically straight towards it. Okay, so Lathe Sphere of Influence. We've got a really wacky jewel orbit right now and we need to correct that and we need to correct that such that our we have an encounter with Tylo is what I want so how do we do this well we are close enough to the ascending node that we could probably uh, well actually it looks like we have to go this way no no we're not close enough to the ascending node No, 1,000 is not worth it. I think we should get out of Leif's sphere of influence before trying any of this. Uh, the Oberth effect can't be as significant as the fact that I have to change my inclination and the inclination burn is not as good close to a gravita gravitating body like Leif. So I'll, uh, I'll wait till I'm away from Leif before trying that. Uh, of course, Jewel itself produces quite a bit of gravity. And actually, let's get a maneuver in seven days? How long are we hanging around Lathe? 14... No, it can't be seven days. I sense something horribly wrong here. No, what? We can't be reaching this in seven days. Are we going the other way around suddenly? Oh, we're we're going to be shot this way, huh? Uh, that's wrong. That's not good at all. Okay, so we do have to fix our inclination right here, right now. Maybe I should get into lathe orbit. Yeah, I mean, to correct an inclination like this... Maybe I should just let Lathe slow me down. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm gonna jump out and get the correct altitude for a uh, Lathe aero break. And then we'll do that. So we'll try an aero break around Lathe. 
and let Lathe do all the work, because there's no way I can do a burn to correct this inclination like this. Okay, so I have used Aero Breaking Calculator and it says uh, 22788. So that's what I'm gonna adjust my my whole thing to. So 227. I've never successfully aero braked around lathe. This will be the first. This is not my first attempt to do so, but hopefully this will be the first successful aero break around lathe. This is the first time I'm using aero braking calculator to calculate it. So, uh, so far that has worked out pretty well. And we do have thrust on this if we need to escape for some reason. So let's do this burn. A lot cheaper than trying to correct inclination manually. And so what will happen is, once we're in lathe orbit, we're going to have the same orbit as lathe. And that is not the highly inclined orbit that I have right now. So it'll correct my inclination for me at a much, much smaller cost than if I tried to do it manually. Mm, that should be good enough. Alright, so once again with our air braking posture, we need to go retrograde, we need to retract solar panels. And while we're here, let's do some science. Once we stabilize the craft, I'll have uh, Bill do it this time, I think. Okay. So, actually, you can't do the crew report, though, it looks like. So, Bill, EVAs. Uh, uh oh, starting to drift. And keep that. And whoa, uh, go down, go down, come on. I did not tell you to start drifting off like that. Okay, so we've got the EV report. Let's review that, and we can transmit that one. Should have uh, done that before retracting the solar panels. Okay, that we are keeping. And now we get to do crew report, transmit that data. Okay, that's done. Mystery goo. We process that in the lab. We transmit that. Okay, we clean experiments. And now uh, because we do want to get some experimental data in the in the low lathe situation. Now let me charge back up again because we we won't have enough electric charge otherwise. Uh, thermometer. Uh, let's wait until we're low. Clearly, this is not the time to do thermometer or barometer. Okay, let me retract the solar panels now. As we get into the hundreds of kilometers. Okay, uh, that's probably a good time as any to indicate that we are low. Let's have Jeb do the daring thing of, well, let's transmit that data, but we, we want him to EVA and do a quick EVA report. Yeah, keep that board. Excellent. Uh, so store data, transmit that as well. Okay, good. Observe mystery goo. Okay, process in lab module. Transmit that. Okay, very good. Now, uh, yeah, thermometer now. Excellent. Uh, process in lab module. I don't know, thermometer, what would you need to process? I don't know. Maybe make it into a good chart or something? 
Okay, transmit that. Yeah, this, that might be optimistic. Our antenna could snap off. I, I don't know if that happens in stock or not, whether our antennae snap off in the atmosphere or not. Let me make sure that we're pointing properly retrograde now. As we're going very fast into the atmosphere. And periapsis is still where we wanted it to be. All right, now the barometer, which can't be done right now. How low do I need to go? Honestly. Well, now that's not going to uh, give me the option to to take the reading. That sucks. So, we are we're looking okay as far as our approach. Whether we actually get captured or not, I don't know. We are now experiencing serious re-entry effects. Well, not that serious. Just re-entry effects. Serious re-entry effects are when things blow up. Okay, curving around. And notice our resulting orbit after that now flattening out properly. Very nice. Still inclined around Leif though, and that's going to have some complications, but not too much, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we've done everything we need to do here, right? We're already out of the flame effects. Doesn't last very long around Leif, it looks like. So, let's uh, plot for our next target, which is Tylo. Uh, we, we want to be going out forward, so probably around here. Maybe this way. Right. And... Oh, I saw something. Yeah. Not the greatest timing. No. Let's see now. Try and aim it for when the orbit is relatively in line with things. Maybe that'll help. Oh, that's a nicer orbit. Better to do something like that. And possibly a mid-course plane change in this case. Yeah, otherwise we're going to be shot into a, another weird angle. And that wouldn't be any good. Four thirty though for a Tylo encounter. It's not bad. Yeah, let's do this. I think uh, that is an excellent way to go. Just in one minute now. Oh, we can extend solar panels. if it got my signal. There we go. So of a shame, it would have been nice to leave the research lab around Lathe, of course, and I think maybe that'll be the final target. Maybe we'll come back to it. Leave it around Lathe. Okay. So, now I think we can start to burn for Tylo. How's our fuel situation? Oh, oh no, they, they, there's still fuel in these external ones. Okay. So, can't dump those off just yet.
Once we do dump those off though, we'll have to figure out how to get this into a stable situation. Oh, I think I burned too long. Yeah. Uh, let's use RCS to correct this. Hmm. Indecisive Tylo encounter. Okay, well that's good enough. I don't want to use that much RCS. I, why, why am I carrying RCS anyway? This isn't gonna dock with anything. I made the mistake of not putting any docking ports on the research lab, so Kerbals will have to transfer by EVA if necessary. Oh, well now we can log pressure date. Well, that doesn't matter anymore. We're definitely not in the atmosphere. Pressure data. Whatever. Alright, so... So I think we're going to wait until that descending node to correct anything. It's further away from Joule for one thing. So it'll cost less. And really this uh, inclination is mainly because of where we burned out from. I think if I was able to get it closer to the, the plane of the system, I would have not had this inclination problem. But anyway. Yep, let's continue. Departing lathe. Okay, well it's it's got this sort of thing. Oh, okay, now it's sort of well, it's sort of stabilized for a sec there. Let's see how much the plane change might cost. Well, with the plane change, it's also kicking me out quite a distance, so I would like to hit something with that. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. And it's very finicky. Oh, we'll keep it to that. At least that seems somewhat stable. Oh, time warping. Jib is actually looking quite placid. Compared to his normal exuberant self. Looks like he might take up philosophy at this after this experience, I don't know. Oh well, no, there he goes. Okay. Making sure that we know he still is normal self. Okay. I think we're ready to go for this plane change. Fuel still okay. Once we have to dump those, we have to see about getting this whole craft into a more stable situation. I think maybe we'll... I don't know what to do about the science lab, honestly. Obviously it's been helpful processing the information because we want to get stuff back home as soon as possible. And of course there gotta be a long trip home after this. So... Getting it back at light speed is preferable. Oh, this is not helping me out here. So, let's say... Well, I doubt we would be able to intercept Bop. But if we were to... Tr oh, what the heck is going on here? No, I can't deal with this. We'll just have to get into the, our Tylo encounter and see. Well, that's a shame because, you know, Tylo can do some serious stuff to your orbit. Well, maybe once we get there, we'll be able to do some burns to get some effect out of it. Okay, so our orbit is now a little bit more stable now that we're in the Tylo 
encounter, but let me just take a quick look. Our other jewel missions are still on their way. Our Duna mission is nowhere near to... I guess this is Kerbin over here. There it is. In the midst of all the asteroids. Uh, it's basically 180 degrees or something of that sort. So, nothing else pending. Now, let's try and see if Tylo can help us out here with the bo uh, Paul. Paul. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I can't get any better than that right now. Okay, but that's pretty good. 4,700 kilometers. We could fix that at the ascending node there. Uh, 27, uh, 27 meters per second, thereabouts. Not a bad burn, so let's do that. Yeah, a little bit off, but that's fine. Actually, we could plot the maneuver at the ascending node now just to see how it'll work out. It's not very easy, though. Ah, oh, there we go. Paul Periapsis. Very good. Alright, so I'll take another 323 it looks like. And then we'll have the Paul situation. As always with Bop, I'll have to debate it because that's, that's an inclination change and a half right there. And we're not going to get any assist from any planets. So we're going to have to do that that burn for Paul in about eight hours and that'll be outside of our That'll be after our Tylo encounter. Tylo encounter is only for five hours. Okay. We are all good here. I think it's uh, Bob's turn to do the EVA report. Where's Tylo? Should be in the plane of the system somewhere. Huh. Are we passing a skew from it or are we too far away? Or is that it? Yeah, that must be it. It's too big to be anything else. Okay, so we're coming around the dark side of it. So at periapsis. Okay, we'll, we'll do stuff at periapsis. Better to do the EV report in the light after all. There we go. Now they can get a proper look at uh, at Tylo. It was Bob, right? Okay. EVA reports. Yeah, keep the data because you don't have a little antenna. Okay. Uh, well, whatever. Nope, can't be done. Okay. Observe mystery goo. Right, let's process that in the lab module. And we can transmit the data. Now remember, we have other missions coming for to get more information. We have a good experiment mission and a science junior mission. And I'm not too sure what I can do with that that I haven't already done with this. So it's, it's alright to just transmit the data just in case we might be able to... I forget if I even... It's been so long that I, I wonder if I've got parachutes on those uh, to bring them back. I hope so. But they might be transmit only. In which case the goal will be to get them low about uh, low around Tylo, Val. Leif of course we did low. 
but uh, the others we won't be doing low so they'll be more fuel efficient for that purpose but uh, we might be able to bring them back I'll have to see okay uh, and then we needed to view data yeah the EVA report transmit that okay and we keep this one we can clean experiments and while the experiments are cleaning we can do crew report transmit that data okay very good hmm we're uh, oh uh, Jill was briefly blocking the sun we seem to be diminishing our electric charge so I'm gonna tilt away from our maneuver node in the hope that the solar panels will be able to recharge us no I think Jill is still obscuring the sun too much perhaps This is a strange drain on our batteries. I wonder what's causing it to go down that fast. Yeah, blocked by Jewel. Okay, well. We are now going to leave Tylo. And engineer our encounter with Paul. Except my electric charge is going down too fast. Okay. Oh, it, it's just, we're, we're just in an eclipse, so I can't do anything about that. I wish, oh, I can turn off the lights. Yeah, that's what's draining a lot of the battery, I think. No, SAS. Okay, there we go. Now we're zeroed out. All right, it'll be nighttime for the guys in the spaceship, and... Out we go. Okay. Geo sphere of influence. The sun is now not blocked, so we can turn on the lights again. And SAS and back to the maneuver node. And here we go. Let's see what's really happening here. Ah, uh, Paul Periapsis, 544 kilometers. That's, that's fine. No worries there. And so Paul will be the last of our encounters. whole day. Let me just check to see how things are working out for everybody else. Yeah, they're still they're still quite far away from everything. This is gonna be a very brief encounter. I wonder if we could get near to Paul. I don't know how close near to Paul is. Okay, here we are. Uh, that's that's where Paul is. This is where we are. Let's get some science done. I think it's Jeb's turn for the EVA now. EVA report. Keep that. Board. Crew report. Transmit that. Okay, and then review stored data and transmit that. Excellent. And the goo. Das goo is feeling right at home. Process. Transmit. and clean the experiments. Hmm. 
Now, let's see how close we can get to Hall. No point in not doing so. It's not really going to influence influence our orbit that much either way. Okay, well that's not helping at all. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's all, all the way over there. So we want to go in this direction. Ah, oh, that is influencing our orbit. Oh, I don't really like that. That doesn't help us with anything. Oh wait, it does sort of matches Bob's, doesn't it? Sort of. If we set Bop as a target, does getting closer to Paul help us with... Oh no. Uh, okay. We need to make some quick decisions here, otherwise we're gonna lose our chance. And of course it's not helping me make a maneuver node. So let's see, 2.3, 2.0, yeah, okay. I think 1.9 is about as close as we're going to get anyway. Let's, let's back off from that. 2.3, let's get within 200, 200 kilometers, and I'll get us 2.1. Yeah, that's a fine burn. All right, let's make that sort of a burn. Let's radial, so it's either up or down. Okay, here we go with this burn. Okay, now, well, we, we could probably burn a little bit more to get within 200. Hopefully that'll get us near to Paul. I don't know for sure, though. Obviously, we won't be getting... Uh, encounter with with Bob just yet. We will probably have to go around maybe a few times before we get there. But let's let's see about Paul. Let's get to our periapsis. Okay. Right, let's get one of the guys to do an EVA. Ah, uh, still high, darn it. Oh well. And this is pretty much as low as we're going to get. It's not going to make any difference. So, even if you do a GUI experiment. Yeah, oh uh, well, let's, let's keep the state of this time. We'll keep the data. Uh, what I, I would expect that we have two kinds of data. Huh. Okay, maybe that's not working the way. Oh, we had, we had to retrieve it. We had to send a Kerbal out to retrieve it. That's right. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm thinking about how to encounter Bop. So that's my plan. It's over here when we're over there. Slowing down is definitely a thing to do. And slowing down, we actually have to speed up. It's one of those things. Maybe we can wait for another go around. How long is our five days? Uh, that might interfere with some of our other missions. Uh, I sense a possibility. Hold on. Aha! We have a bop encounter. Okay, uh, it costs 500 though. We're getting a little bit short on fuel. 
I'm going to use the science lab to bring stuff back. Okay, so I'm gonna dump these now. We've got uh, extra modules for now, bereft of fuel. So off they go, and RCS to pull us away from them. So, core module is here, and yeah, we'll use some of this fuel to get us back home as well, I think. Well, we've got uh, we've got a plan here. Two hours until the burn, so let's time warp to that. Yeah, actually, maybe we'll have to just abandon the research lab in a random orbit around Jewel. I don't see how we're going to be able to carry it with us any further. It's just too heavy. I mean, once the fuel in this tank runs out, of course. We might have to actually leave it in a heliocentric orbit, because... Because we might want to use this fuel to get help us get back home. I'll have to figure out whether the tank at the bottom of the command module is enough to get us back home. I think it is, but don't want to take any chances on that. So here we are. We have <clears throat> we have a BOP periapsis here of 84 kilometers. And let's get this done, shall we? And then we'll be in a pretty safe orbit around around Jewel. We're probably not going to encounter too much in this orbit. Uh, making another BOP encounter is highly unlikely. So that should be alright. Let's just go with this. No need for an uh, inclination change since we are encountering BOP at a decent altitude. Oh, we are going through quite a few days it looks like. Just make sure everything is all right. Yeah, they're a long ways off still. How long is it? Four days? I think they're more than four days off. And this is it. Our fifth and final moon of Jewel. And we have hit all of them in this mission. High encounters with most of them. But some of them... Much closer encounters. Uh, they always seem to be in shadow there. I think this is that's that's Bob there. Uh, I think uh, Bill this time. EV report. Yep. Just gotta keep that goo container now. I'll pick up the information and hopefully I'll remember to do that next time. Okay, and finally the crew report. No, not the RCS. Okay. So, much science gained in this mission. And I am going to bring us past our BOP encounter before ending this mission, uh, ending this episode. So let's get there and see if we can't do those low over bumps. I don't know if we're low enough. 80 seems high. If, if Paul 200 wasn't good enough, I don't think BOP 80 would be good enough. We'll see. Okay, well let's try it. So Jeb, why don't you do the EVA? Ah, nope. Okay, so can't do that now. Definitely. So, we are going to proceed out. And with that, I will end the episode. We will leave them in orbit around Jewel, and they will await their transfer back to Kerbin as the other missions come in. And at the very least, we'll definitely be able to send the probe launcher Y using the barometer reading 
low... Uh, well, I mean, basically we gotta crash it into lathe, but uh, we'll get a low at atmosphere barometer reading at lathe, and we'll definitely get some science juniors done. We didn't carry any of those. The goo launch, I don't know how useful it'll be now, now that we've done all these goo readings. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so hit all of the five moons of Jewel in this one mission. EV reports high around all of them and low around some. So with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.